Hi everybody, my name is John Dexter and welcome. I hope you're all staying well. Um, I wasn't going to actually make this video um, because I didn't know whether it was just me uh, not very good with modern technology. Um, so I didn't really want to make a fool of myself. But then I thought, well, perhaps I'm not the only one um you know in this um sort of boat with uh, not being absolutely brilliant with it so i thought i'd make the video anyway anyway cutting to the chase it's about a keyboard um i have owned this microsoft keyboard now for about a year and it's a nice keyboard but the issue i have with it is the uh, letters and numbers are very difficult to see they're not very clear at all um and considering I do uh, a lot of my um, f photography editing um, in the semi-darkness, it, it was really a problem. So what I thought is I'd go and get myself a backlit keyboard. And now I started to look into them and you can buy them as cheap as sort of 20, 30 quid. Um, but I, on further investigation, the uh, Logitech keyboard seemed to be the ones to go for. And I narrowed it down to two. Uh, one was the MX Keys and the other was the uh, Logitech Craft. Now, uh, I really did want the MX because the Craft has got a dial on it, uh, which you can use um, to uh, help you with your editing you know you can turn it and you can push it it, it makes life easier um, I'm sure if, if you uh, are thinking about getting this keyboard you'll know exactly what this little what they call the craft does um, but the MX keys was nowhere to be had no one had them in stock whether it's to do with the situation we're in at the moment I really don't know but they just are not available um, so although I thought uh, this little um, uh, button on the uh, craft I probably couldn't use because the only apps that it appeared to support were things like Lightroom or Photoshop or um, Google, uh, that sort of thing. I think there were about seven apps which they supported in their software. So I thought, well, it's a beautiful keyboard. Um, even if I don't use this little dial, I've still got a lovely keyboard. And it's backlit, and the beauty of it is when you put your hands near it, the lights come on, and when you take your hands away, they, it goes off, which I thought was a nice touch. So I thought, well, even if they don't support um, the sort of apps I use, they may do in the future. Downside, it was £190, just under, from Amazon. But I thought, oh, what the hell, you know, um, in these times we need something to cheer us up. So I actually went and bought it. Now, this video um, is going to be showing you... Um, actually, I, I'll show you the keyboard. Um, there it is. And this is what they call the... This little knob is what they call the craft and you can turn it and push it. So yeah, beautiful little keyboard. Really, really pleased with it. Um, but as I say, this video is gonna be about what I discovered that you can actually use this little dial for. And it's not just for the um, apps that Logitech support. It is actually for other apps and I'm going to run through with you how you can use it, how you can set it up. Because I, I sort of watch all the tutorials on YouTube and there's loads of tutorials out there showing you how to use this um, in Photoshop and Lightroom. But there's absolutely no tutorials uh, showing you how you can use it in other apps, um, which I thought um if i make this video it might help you if you actually if you're considering buying one of these and you thought the same as i did that you know um you're not really going to get full use out of this little dial because it's not supported then this might help you um because in actual fact you, you can use it in a lot of apps so Anyway, enough of this. Um, let's get stuck in and I'll run through the software with you, 
how to set it up in other apps and uh, yeah we'll go from there okay so when you first get your keyboard you have to download uh, the Logitop, Logi, <laughs> can't speak, Logitech um, software and it's Logitech options. Uh, once you've downloaded that, you'll be presented with this page here. Now, if you go up to all applications and click on that, you'll basically be presented with this page here which runs through all the applications that Logitech support um, Microsoft Excel PowerPoint Word Firefox Chrome Edge uh, media player and then you've got all your Adobe Photoshop's and um, Lightroom but if you go back you will also see that it has um, brought up on the screen all the applications that you have on your computer okay every single one but I thought well that's strange because they don't support these apps the only ones they support are the ones I've shown you but this is um, how you can actually uh, program some of your other apps for this little crown dial now the three main ones that I wanted to be able to use it with if I could was my editing software is Nikon Capture NX2 the um, Nikon NXD is the software I use to sort my files and Shotcut is the um, application I use for editing my videos and they were the three that I really wanted to use so what I thought is I'll go down and click on um, one, one of those, the one that I want to um, see if I can program. So you find the one you want and click on it. Now I let's do shortcut first. So you click on shortcut and it comes up here in the right hand corner. If you now go to crown, it shows you the three options you have for this little button or this little dial. Uh, the first one is turning, the second one's pressing, and the third one is press and turn. Now the press and turn, if you click on that, it says you can only change this function in all application settings, um, which ended up not really being, let, let, let's just go back and put it in all applications the only thing that does is volume brightness media control desktop switch switch applications or none I've just set it to none because I'm not really going to use any of those but if you let's do the first one which is the turn knob so if you click on that and then click on more it gives you all these options um, volume brightness media control custom key um, desktop blah 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 anyway so let's go back and put in shortcut up here now press on this key so I came down all of them and I thought well just a minute custom key so I should be able to preset um, a keystroke in there that I can use uh, in the application and one of the things that um, with shortcut is when you have your timeline down the bottom reducing the size of the timeline and increasing it you you have I'll show you in a minute I'll go into shortcut and show you okay so I've come into shortcut I'm just going to open up a file. I'll open up my intro. Um, bring it down into the timeline. Now, when when you've got a long, big timeline, you've got this minus or plus, which actually reduces the timeline or increases it. But when you've got a really long, long timeline, you're sitting there clicking this for, well, da, da, for ages. So I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if I could use this little dial um, to be able to uh, increase and decrease the timeline? So I thought, well, it's a minus or a plus. 
So let's go back into um, the Logitech software. And we are now, we've now got shortcut in the right hand corner, go to the crown, turn key, go down to custom key and just click on that, okay? And you've got this window here. So if I click on that and just put in plus, click on that one and put in minus, I wonder if that's gonna work. So let's go back into Shotcut now. Open up my intro video, put it in the timeline. Right, let's see if that works. Look at that. Absolutely, but imagine, imagine the time that's gonna save you. So I thought that's absolutely fantastic. So right, I thought, what can I program the um, push on the little um, button I could do. Well, if I look over here, um, this is the split um, icon and it says split at playhead and then it's got in brackets S. So I thought if I go, let's not save that. If I go back into Logitech options, up to applications, shortcut, crown come to press go down all my options until I get to keystroke assignment I've set it to S and then I go back into shortcut see if that will work so I press the little crown and bingo it's actually split the uh, video and then I've got the increase or decrease there we are and that's where it split it and I can split it again just by pressing the knob so I thought this is absolutely fantastic the only downside of this is you can only program one setting for the turn and one setting for the press um, but, you know, that, that's still going to save me an awful lot of time um, in Shotcut. So I'm being able to make use of this little, this little dial. And the beauty of it is now, if I come in and put in um, my editing software, which is NX2, I can then program um, the turn and the press for something completely different in NX2. Um, so if you had 10 different um, applications, you could put in 10 different settings, um, two for each. Uh, so yeah, I know if you have Photoshop or Lightroom, you can actually use this little dial to do more than just the two settings, but this is better than nothing. So I've been able to program um, Shotcut, I've been able to program uh, capture NX2 and also um, my uh, file sorting. Um, absolutely brilliant. And the the other one thing you can do, um, let me come out of this. And the other lovely thing about this is um, these top buttons you can actually reprogram if you want to. And I've actually used that I actually went into um, my sorting files. Um, actually, it's not NXD, is it? It's um, NX2, view NX2. And I've actually programmed these four buttons at the top um, to put in a one, two, three, or four star rating. So if you press on that, keystroke assignment, do exactly the same, and um, control plus one, and now I've got control plus two, three, and four. So I've been able to set those to um, rate my images. So yeah, that's another nice little feature with this. So if you're thinking about buying one of these keyboards and you thought exactly the same as I did, um, that lovely keyboard, but I haven't got any applications I'm gonna be able to use the crown in. Well, actually you can. 
Um, and that's how you do it. And I think it's absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really pleased that I've been able to make use of it. So yeah, hope this has been helpful to you. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. Um, if you have, please leave a like below. Um, to all my subscribers, I thank you. Um, it really does um, give me the encouragement to sort of keep making videos um, like this, but uh, and also on my ICM abstract photography, uh, which if you haven't already seen, take a look at it. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, all the links are below for my Instagram and uh, my website. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, and um, hit that notification bell, which will allow you to see or notify you of future videos. So yeah, this is uh, John Dexter saying stay well, stay safe. Bye for now.